The UK government has annulled the privilege to free discourse in Britain, as Prime Minister Theresa May favours new online despise wrongdoing measures. The director of Open Arraignments, Alison Saunders, says she is working with the British government to rebuff online despise violations as truly as rough offences did, in actuality. The Guardian reports, Saunders says the crackdown is required in light of the fact that online mishandle can prompt the kind of fanatic despise seen in Charlottesville in the United States a weekend ago, which left one individual dead. Writing in The Guardian, Saunders stated, left unchallenged, even low-level culpable can consequently fuel the sort of risky antagonistic vibe that has been put over our media as of late. That is the reason countering it is a need for the CPS. Regardless of whether yelled in their face in the city, wiped on their divider or tweeted into their family room, the effect of derisive mishandle on a casualty can be similarly destroying. Saunders trusts the new plans will see more arraignments with longer sentences for those indicted if a jury or judge can be persuaded the wrongdoing was propelled by abhor. The new strategy reports cover diverse strands of despise wrongdoing, supremacist and religious, incapacity, and homophobic, biphobic and transphobic. They additionally say that casualties of biphobic despise wrongdoing, when for swinger individuals have distinctive needs and encounters contrasted with those torment hostile to gay and transphobic offenses. Official figures demonstrate a 20 percent ascent in all types of detest wrongdoing answered to the police in the main quarter of this current year. Despise wrongdoing is accepted to be altogether under-revealed. Saunders said an expanding extent of abhor wrongdoing is currently executed on the web and a few components are behind the new plans. One is the developing need to shield those online from wrongdoings, for example, mishandle as individuals spend an expanding extent of their lives on the web. In any case, the second is an acknowledgement that mishandle in the virtual world has certifiable outcomes, with the spreading of dread internet bringing about demonstrations of physical brutality. In different ranges of the criminal equity framework. The Guardian comprehends senior figures are dealing with refreshing laws and approaches to mirror the way that culpable online has expanded not simply in volume, but rather the harm it can do by inducing individuals to do brutal acts. Saunders said the individuals who compose messages to murder, mangle or harm online are endeavoring to spread a typical disdain they share with the individuals who complete physical assaults. We carry out to regarding on the web to test violations similarly as genuinely as those accomplished up close and personal, she said. In a universe of abnormal physical assaults that may show up a ponderous way to deal with a few. However, maybe we ought to pose the inquiry, would could it be that the culprits try to accomplish? One consistent theme that connections online purveyors of loath with the individuals who perpetrate physical detest wrongdoings or certifiable psychological militants is the want to undermine and impart fear in those they target, both separately and all in all in their groups, due to their attributes, be that confidence, religion, handicap or sexuality. Detest wrongdoing is ascending with more cases being arraigned, the DPP said. Of the more than 15,000 despise wrongdoing arraignments we finished in 2015-16 we could convince the court that a stiffer, or elevated, sentence was justified with expanding recurrence. From the privileged person, Rodri Phillips, who was found to have been propelled by racial antagonistic vibe in his mishandle of the counter-Brexit campaigner Gene Miller, to the two youthful guys who viciously assaulted a transgender man in Aylesbury and were imprisoned in April. We see many sentences expanded every month. The new plans are inside the DPP's energy to authorize, they don't expect Parliament to pass new enactment and Saunders demanded they don't debilitate the privilege to free discourse. The CPS, which Saunders leads, will offer another and better arrangement to casualties, she said. Regardless of whether you are a gay man fears identity outed in court. A Jewish lady threatened at the possibility of confronting her abuser yet again, or a debilitated individual who questions they will be trusted, our new direction, alongside different arrangements as of now set up, mean you have more help and assurance than any time in recent memory. Police trust the idea of the level-headed discussion around a year ago's choice which saw Britain leave the European Union, had an impact in causing a surge in despise wrongdoing 
coordinated for the most part against ethnic minorities. Saunders in her Guardian piece noticed a surge in abhor violations following the spate of fear-based oppressor assaults Britain endured amongst March and June this year. Police insights demonstrated that religiously propelled the test wrongdoings expanded five crease in Manchester in the weeks after May's assault, while abhor violations against Muslims tripled in London in the seven-day stretch of that abomination and after that practically multiplied by and by in the week after London Bridge, she said. The CPS said that in 2015-16 the CPS finished 15,442 to test wrongdoing indictments, the most elevated figure on record, with a conviction rate of 83.2 percent. A NSPCC representative stated, youngsters ought to be as sheltered online as they are disconnected, and this new direction is an imperative stride that will enable specialists to convey guilty parties to equity. Online networking organizations should likewise make quick move to expel abhorred discourse and pass suitable proof on to police. In the event that youngsters have been influenced by abhorred discourse, they can contact Childline on 08011 or online at childline.org.uk. The campaign against anti-Semitism said its own study demonstrated that 52% of British Jews trust that prosecutors were not doing what's needed to battle discrimination against Jews, with just 39% of British Jews sure that despise wrongdoing culprits would be indicted. The crusade Stephen Silverman stated, the purpose behind the disappointment of the CPS to arraign discrimination against Jews is by all accounts a matter of self-control not in absence of appropriate direction. The persevering three-year ascendant xenophobic wrongdoing has been met by a decline in the effectively low arraignment rate for offenses against Jews and a total absence of straightforwardness by the CPS concerning the way in which it manages racist wrongdoing. Our most recent review of the Jewish People Group demonstrates the degree to which it has lost trust in the will of the criminal equity framework to secure it. Unless the CPS changes its position towards violations submitted against Jews, the culprits will be encouraged to keep culpable and Britain's Jewish populace will keep on worrying that it doesn't have a long-haul future in this nation.